Hey, this video is about how to do a tabernacle stall on your roller skates. So before you want to learn how to do a tabernacle stall, you should be able to, you know, pump in a ramp um, and at least do a front side or basic plate stall. I think the ideal place to learn stalls is like a mini ramp like this, um, but it doesn't have to be. I actually first learned this stall on a little quarter ramp and I, I wasn't really even pumping into it. I was just skating up to it, the ramp, and then pumping up the ramp to practice this stall. So you can learn it on a different, in different transitions. You can even practice this on a small parking curb. Kevin did a video um, before about practicing stalls on a little parking curb, just to kind of get the weight placement and the balance where you're really close to the ground and you're not on a ramp. So that can be a great idea as well. But once you're ready to start practicing, the tabernacle on a coping, I started on a ramp that has a railing like this because it's super helpful to be able to grab hold of the railing at first, help you get your balance. So I'll show what I mean. I'm gonna go over to that um, side, to that coping. All right, so you first get up on the coping like a regular front side or plate stall and I hold on at first when I was learning, I held on to this railing and then you're gonna turn. I'm left-handed, so I lead with my left foot and my right foot is the turning foot but you might be the other way around. So you just practice which way feels natural. I turn my right foot open. You can see this is like what they would call like fifth position in ballet, where your hips are really open, your feet and knees are really open. So you might just need to practice this position a lot before totally committing to the stall. You can also step the foot behind. Ah. I practice it both ways, foot in front, foot behind. And if you're a right-handed person, you might be turning the other way, totally fine. Just you know, do what feels natural to you. But when you feel comfortable with it, try to practice finding that tabernacle and going it. Uh -huh. Try again. Turning to the front, finding that tabernacle position, going back in. It's like you gotta really bend your knees, huh? Gotta, gotta bend your knees, gotta open the hips. Open the hips. Now that one was supposed to be behind, but I messed it up. Okay. You're on. Step behind. Step, okay. Eventually it becomes more all one motion. Um, but at first you might just get both feet on, then step the turning foot in front or behind as you prefer. And once you've done this a while and you don't need the railing anymore, then you can really commit to the motion more. I'll try to show that. I'm pumping up. Front foot, second foot in front. Nice, right, it looks stylish. Front foot, look where you want to go. it becomes all one motion. I see. And that's basically how you do a tabernacle. So hopefully that's useful. Um, again, just break it down to little steps or, you know, small pieces. It does take a while to get your hips and everything comfortable with this opening, but I think it's a really cool trick. Um, and it's really fun changing direction that way and everything. So hopefully that's useful. And um, please let us know and please uh, subscribe and comment and like. Thanks.